that's for sure. Green lights on. Gates up. Gates up. Away we go. Wozniak out of gate number three makes a superb start. Gets the better of Smarzik as they go through the first corner. Lebedev's into third place. Here comes Smarzik trying to find his way through on the inside, but the door was slammed shut. He's coming on strong. He's up the inside. The world champion fires himself to the front. Wouldn't be denied. Wozniak's gone wide. In comes Lebedev. Wozniak responds. Brilliant speed win in the opening lap. And he's trying to let the bike flow. He's riding up to the fence and in a way, possibly his mistake. He would have uh, probably kept Smarzik back if he'd have ridden a little bit narrower. He just left that hole coming in here. And Smarzik, well, Wozniak actually had to straighten the bike up because uh, Smarzik was ringing the bell and coming through anyway. Here we go then, heat number four. Tapes are up now. Wow, what a start out of gate number two there. Brilliant stuff into the first corner. Quebec absolutely flew away. Jack Holder coming out strong. Holder up the inside. Lovely move there from the Australian to fire himself to the front. Zagar without the steel shoe. Be a little frustrated, but let's see uh, heat number four once again. Yeah, it's uh, Jan Quebec there. He just drops the clutch and the bike absolutely lurches forward. Great <laughs> move though from Jack Holder. Just read it right. He knew that Jan Quebec would run up to the fence make a nice wide entry into the corner, and he had speed. We saw that in the race. The margin that he pulled out was quite extensive, but he does come under him very, very hard. It's welcome to the Grand Prix series. Jan Kovec from Jack Holder. Heat number six. Takes up now. Away we go. Freddy's made it smash his start at gate two. Robert Lambert coming around the outside from gate three. Oh, Jan Kovec! That bike just hooks up, slams Freddy. Oh, Lambert comes from nowhere. What a move from Robert Lambert. Here comes Lingren now, back up the inside. Sensational opening lap of Speedway. Proper tough stuff. Jankovic has really impressed me, he, the effort he's putting in here. We can see Freddie Lingren makes a great start. Looks like Robert Lambert's going to get a good run. Then nearly runs into the back of Lingren. There, Jankovic slams Freddie Lingren into the... Straightens him right up. I tell you what. Freddie's done very, very well to stay on the bike there. The back wheel just runs into the berm of dirt on the bottom bit of the fence. Bit naughty, that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was a bit tough. It was tough. <laughs> but uh, the one who, who really uh, got himself out in front because of that move was Robert Lambert. I mean, he, he read it. He could see what was going on. He read it very quickly. Super start from Jason Doyle. Yeah, brilliant coming from gate three. Just tapping the fence there, launches him into the corner. Madsen hanging with him, putting him under a fast. little bit of pressure. He's That's looking for fast. the outside line now. He knows he's got a gap. He's not Ooh. under pressure from behind. He's going to have the speed here down the straight. Fabulous overtake there. Jason Doyle now looking to repay the favour up the inside. I think he's going to do it. What a race is this? We're into the last lap. Leon Madsen once again firing himself up the inside. Top car speedway here. Well, wheel to wheel down the back straight for the final time. Leo Madsen and Jason Doyle putting on a master class of World Championship Speedway there in heat number 11. This speedway in front was brilliant. Oh yeah, I mean the, now the lead's sort of changing on every corner, we can see there Madsen. You can see how hard he turns the bike, he goes past him up the inside and thinks I cannot fall for this, I cannot leave the big gap mm. coming into the next corner, so he turns really, really hard. As you generally do when you're behind, Bewley sort of settling down, but uh, Martin Vashilik chasing Linger and Linger can't really shake him. Uh, Vashilik coming on strong here, having a right go, he needs a win. He is up against it, second place will give him half a chance. Martin Vashilik, here we go, one last chance there in the back comes. straight, and the world number three getting the bit of the world number two. What, what an effort from Martin Vashilik, fabulous move. speedway, what a result for him. As Martin Vashilik gradually, gradually worked on Lindgren, just a little bit of ground on each corner there, big wide corner, realises the grip's there for him and uh, does well just to get across Lindgren entering the corner and lets the bike run into the dirt and uh, yeah, cracking move and, and Martin needed that, a couple of decent uh, races to finish and he could still make the semi-finals now. Yeah, he's given himself a lifeline and uh, rides like that, who knows, he might just wait, making his way towards...